Hi there, I'm Kenya Thompson, Director of Communications, and welcome to this week's weekly tip with Mastermind. What can you control? Right now, it feels like we don't have much control over a lot of things. We're facing times we've never experienced, and that's causing some nervousness and uncertainty for many. But I don't want you to focus on those things. Let's turn our focus to what we can control, our narrative. Regardless of what's going on in the world, there's one thing we have always had control over, and it's our own story. So I'm asking you, what's yours? And what is the story that you want to tell? If not, what's holding you back from making it one that you'd like to share? I want to show you a perfect example of how to turn your narrative around. But first, let me give you a little background. A day, owner of Do New Cuisine reached out to us really in need of just a simple brainstorming session around marketing efforts to drum up some much needed business. See, a day is a single mom and an amazing chef, both full time. And because of recent events, she's having to shift how she does business, if she's able to do any at all, which presented a few challenges. So as we worked through her options, we came up with the perfect solution that included collaboration, marketing, and innovation. Take a look. Wami Dunu. In Togo, that's how we ask you to share a meal with us. This is a value that is rooted in my work because where I come from, we do everything in community. Things have changed for a lot of us and it's really shifted how we do business and just how we live. So as a mother and a business owner, it has pushed me to explore creative ways to support myself and my daughter. Hey guys, this is Kirk from Crafty Beer Shop Lafayette Village. We are teaming up with a day. We know where's Mo. And we'll be delivering her incredible West African food throughout this entire event. Since partnering with Crafty Beer Shop to provide their patrons with quick, ready-to-eat meal options, it has me thinking of ways I can provide service to others. So if you know of community centers with children, universities with students still on campus, single moms, or anyone who's unable to cook for themselves or go out, please let us know. We'd love to make life just a little bit easier for them. Call us the day before you want the food and we will deliver it the next day from four to seven. So let us make a difference together. So what did you think? A day could have very well thrown up her hands and allowed her story to be one of defeat and discouragement. Instead, she reached out to her circle and asked for help. Collaboration during this time, while keeping socially distant, is a priceless effort on a path to succeeding through this historical moment. Your creativity, your attitude, is all it takes to change your narrative. As you decide where your story goes, keep these things in mind. First, connect with your community. Don't let the physical distance actually turn into distance. This is a time to really show empathy to others and help out where you can. This is when we all need to be sensitive and not too salesy or pushy, but it is a great opportunity for your brand to stand out. More people are on social media right now than ever, scanning for updates and trying to stay connected. So stay connected. Second, prepare your business for the bounce back. What you do today will impact you after all of this is over and done with. So invest your time in your business. Do some research, talk to some people, find out what areas need improvement or what really works for you. Because when things get back up and running, trust me, we're going to need to be able to keep up with it. Lastly, don't panic. Don't stress. I know it's easier said than done, trust me, we've taken a hit too, but as entrepreneurs, parents, professionals, we've got to remain positive. Your narrative is in your control. So what's your story? Mm -hmm.